How you doing? My name's Andrew from Sterilizer Autoclave Solutions here in our facility in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, right now we are going to go over some quick preventative maintenance on replacement of a Statum 2000 cassette seal. Uh, the cassette seal should be replaced every 500 cycles and or six months. Really simple. Number one, you always want to buy the manufacturer seal. You do not want to buy the replacement seals. Um, they work, but they, they need to be replaced more often and could cause leakage underneath the cover, which could cause other problems. Um, so it's real simple to uninstall the seal. You're going to want to use some sort of spatula or something to pry the seal out. Um, you're just going to want to take the screwdriver and stick it into the metal and then kind of wedge it down and then pull it out. And then from here, you can kind of pull the rest of the seal out. Uh, while you have the seal out, you're going to want to look in all the edges inside of where the seal sits. You're going to want to look for any debris or rust or anything like that. So if you know, I wasn't doing a video, I would take a Dremel and I would get some CLR or something to get rid of all this rust in here. And then I would rinse it off and grab the new seal. So I'm going to open up the seal. It comes with a little lube kit. You're gonna to wanna to take the seal, take about a quarter size lube, put it in the center of the, the cassette. You're gonna to wanna to get it on your finger and you're gonna to wanna to lubricate the seal all the way around. Nice, nice, generous lubrication. Um, and then you're gonna to wanna to aim the back towards the back of the cassette and you're gonna to wanna to start in all the corners. You're gonna take these rubber blocks and you're gonna to wanna to set them up in the corners like that. Then you, once that one's done, you go to this one. In the corners again. That one's in there. Then you're going to take your fingers and you're going to want to press it out towards the corners and then look at the back and you're going to want to set it up like that. Then you're going to want to go to the other corner. And you're going to want to take your thumbs and spread it like this. And in there, last corner. Right here, spread it out, spread it out. Then you want to take the lube and you're going to want to take it and, and with your finger, you're going to want to go inside the wedge, run lube inside the wedge, make sure everything's flush. Same here, same here. Then you're going to want to visually inspect and make sure that there's no kinks. And then you're done. You take the lube, you lubricate it like this, replace it in the cassette. Good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us via email, sterilizerrepair at yahoo.com, and or you can call our shop cell phone, 704-910-0341. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.